We are the market leader for sawmill technology, and we deliver these systems throughout the world. Link is a medium-sized company based in the Black Forest. Our goal is to understand exactly what the customer wants. To do this, we have to listen carefully and then work with the customer to find the ideal solution. The sawmill industry is currently experiencing very high log prices. And it is also suffering from market overcapacity. Flexibility is needed, which is why we steered our most recent developments in the direction of higher sawn lumber yield and greater flexibility, so that our systems can reasonably handle smaller batch sizes down to a batch size of one. Today we have two machines in the traditional technology. First, the chipper, which processes the log from two sides. This is followed by a turning device and a conveyor line, after which comes another machine for processing the other two sides. Our basic goal in doing all this was to combine these two machines into a compact center, so that these two steps can be completed in a single pass in one machine. By rotating the first machine so that the chipper blades lie horizontally, I have to position the log in the open air. This was, of course, a major challenge, especially for the design department. In the electrical department, we took on this project to gain initial experience with the TIA portal and the new generation of controllers. In fact, they made a good impression, and we gained a lot of experience. Especially in working with the 1518F, we noticed that it significantly improved our performance compared to the CPU we currently use. While this project is pretty straightforward compared to what the CPU can really do, it nevertheless gives us the sense that we can also use it to implement large profiling lines. The idea behind the TIA portal is that we can speed up our work in development and in engineering overall solutions. It combines the drive systems, control technology and visualization. Within the CPU 1518, we were able to separate communication from the PLC program, which ultimately meant that we increased performance in both areas compared to the previous environment. In the new project, the entire TIA portal was integrated, both the CPU system and the peripherals. We used the ET200SP as the decentralized peripheral. For the first time, we also integrated the Cynamics G converter into the TIA portal, as well as the Cynamics S120 via GSD files. There are oscillating multifunction tools for the home improvement and trade segments. They can be used in various applications like sanding, sawing, rasping, polishing, and separating. A tool that covers a lot of functions. You could compare that to the TIA portal. I have one tool for everything, visualization, drives, and PLC programming. TIA portal has many advanced options. It's fun working with structures, to handle them, create structures, and use them. It's much easier to grasp than in the past. I'm responsible for electrical equipment, which includes everything from engineering and programming to commissioning and service. In my view, one of the benefits of TIA Portal is its standard user interface. We no longer have to use different tools. A lot of improvements have been made, and many things were added to the existing environment. The TIA portal not only takes a new step forward with a new approach, but also integrates all these things, whether it's drives or the HMI, and that is what makes this a valuable tool for me.